We begin with Lo Wang, who receives a task from the Yakuza to retrieve an ancient trinket called the Soul Well from the Temple of Longing. Wang accepts the task and travels to the temple, where he obtains the artifact and brings it back to the Yakuza mansion. After speaking to Mamushi Helka, a leader of the Yakuza, he gets a new task to rescue Kamiko, Helka's granddaughter, from Zilla's labs. He finds Kamiko tied to a table with the Kyokugami twins inside a room, with Orochi Zilla watching her through a monitor. The twins inject Kamiko with Compound 61, and she begins to hallucinate. Wang then reveals his presence, and the twins run off to catch him, while huge forces of Zilla Corp soldiers attack. Eventually, Wang reaches Kamiko and brings her to Smith Massimune. Smith decides to transfer Kamiko's soul into Wang's body until he figures out how to heal her body. Lo Wang then retrieves the ingredients needed for Smith to make the cure. In the meantime, Helka tasks Wang with finding the source of black ooze that is spreading in the wildlands. She gives Wang the coordinates of the location of the supposed source, which turns out to be the outer gates, with Mezu's armor holding them locked. Wang finds Mezu still guarding the gates, as before. Wang is then contacted by Smith, asking him to come back to Dragon Mountain, as Zilla Corps have attacked it. Wang is transported to the Wildlands and tries to reach Dragon Mountain, encountering huge forces of Zilla Corps. When Wang reaches Smith, who is gravely injured during the battle, he reveals that he has finished the cure. In his dying moments, Smith puts his own soul into the soul well. As Wang goes to administer the cure to Kamiko's body, the body attacks him, now in a horribly mutated form. After a tough fight, the corrupted body escapes. Suddenly, Amiona contacts Wang and urges him to meet her in Shadow Hills. He meets Gozu, guarding the entrance to the temple, who lets him in. When Wang meets Amiona, he asks her to reverse the soul binding, but first he must retrieve Kamiko's body and return it to its original form. In order to perform the soul joining ritual, Amiona needs ancestral chi, which can be found in a weapon that belonged to Kamiko's father. Kamiko reveals that Helka carries around a wakazashi given to her by Kamiko's father. With this information, Wang seeks out Helka, and after a brief talk, she takes her own life, and Wang brings a ceremonial dagger to Emiona. Gozu informs Wang that they have located Kamiko's body, and marks the last known whereabouts. Wang travels to the top of Devil Mountain, where the body has been feeding on black rain and is mutated even more. After a tough fight, the body tries to escape, but is captured by Zilla Corpse. Wang then returns to Gozu to inform him of the situation. Amiona reveals that Kamiko's father should be in the vicinity of Outer Gates. Wang travels there and finds Mezu. Mezu reveals himself to be the Oyabun, leader of the Yakuza, and father of Kemiko. He then travels to Helka's former office, while Wang returns to Amiona. She reveals that she has known about Oyabun's identity and was manipulating events so that Kamiko would die. She then orders Gozu to kill Wang, but he evades the attack and must then fight Acolytes, during which Gozu and Amiona escape. Wang returns to Dragon Mountain and speaks with Mezu, who says that he wanted to use Kamiko to reseal the outer gates. Wang reveals that her soul is inside his body, and together they form a temporary alliance. Mezu tells Wang that Zing will help them to locate Kamiko's body, but Wang must meet him in person. After Wang reaches Zing, he reveals the story behind the outer gates. Eons ago, ancients raged war against Chaos, a malevolent force that wanted to consume the Shadow Realm, home realm of all demons. Eventually, demon armies led by Zing managed to push the chaos into the void. Hoji then constructed a set of gates to keep it out of the Shadow Realm, while Mezu used Emiona's soul to seal the gates. Unfortunately, they still needed the power that derived from chaos, so they used Emiona to channel it through her tears. For centuries, Enra, Mezu, and Hoji used the power for their own desires, while isolating Emiona to protect the flow of energy. Loneliness and sorrow slowly drove Emiona to the brink of madness, with Enra and Hoji's deaths pushing her over the edge to insanity. After revealing this to Wang, Zing then provides him with the location of Kamiko's body at Zilla's headquarters. With the location of Kamiko's body, Wang breaks into Zilla's HQ. Wang then confronts Zilla, and after a brief chat, Zilla gets inside a weaponized mechanical suit and attacks Wang. Wang manages to get the upper hand in the fight and defeats Zilla. Suddenly, Amiona appears and steals Kamiko's body. Zilla gives Wang a weapon, and they make a temporary alliance in order to stop Amiona. Wang meets with Mezu, who reveals that Gozu has already transferred Amiona's soul into Kamiko's body. This caused the body to mutate even more. Wang then faces off against Amiona, knocks her out, and uses Smith's antidote on the body. Mezu arrives, but before he can extract Amiona's soul, Wang kills her at Kamiko's request. Seconds later, Zing and Zilla arrive on the scene. Kamiko decides to seal the outer gates open, using her living soul, to force the human and demon worlds to coexist. She then flies into the gates, shattering them, and emerges as a giant dragon, who then swallows Wang. 